Welcome back, this is Jack. Um, so... Sentient machine thing, I guess? I don't know, like... All I know is we, like, activated the machine. It said, I live again. Uh, apparently had a set of twins. And then there's a pig mask there. Masks. Counting five. Let's read the note. Can a man construct himself anew? Can a man, on realizing who he is, on what he has become, tear himself apart down to the bricks and begin anew again? Are our souls just this? Tiny cogwheels and clockwork, intricate machines to serve a function that, upon reflection, we might not set to a new task. Can a man defined by his actions, defined by which he now finds abhorrent, set to sabotaging this body, his machine, until those children of his soul turn into new motion? He may awake to a new sun, a new year, a new century, with hope in his heart. As I reach my hands out to the exposed wires, I ask myself this. Is redemption possible for such a creature as I? If not then surely better to die amongst my creations than to continue lo alive as a ma monster. So, he tried to kill himself and failed. That might be why he doesn't remember what the hell happened. But, with him not remembering what the hell happened, he was able to be tricked by this machine, apparently, into reactivating it, the thing he was trying to stop. Where are they? Where are my children? And you ask, Landers. You know the answer well enough. Children really are the most wonderful and useful creatures. The unfortunates from the orphanage have proved indispensable in cleaning the larger stem steam pipes. It appears that matter from the slaughtering process may indeed vaporize at source but drifts like dust through the air and lodges in the pipes, causing them to foul. Periodically, we shut the pressure down and send one of our pixies into the pipes to scrub the reconstituted fat away. Armed with just a shortened broom, our little explorers venture into the dock. Of course, we can only keep pressure down for a short period, so they must be fast, or they risk being trapped and boiled by the superheated vapors when they rush back into the system, and then we will send sending their comrades in afterwards to scrape free the cooling mess. The survivors tell me you can reach all manners of places within the complex through the pipes. I smile and tell them I am so proud, and then feed them to the pigs. So what I'm hearing is, I've got to temporarily shut down the steam and haul ass. Can I walk through that? Yeah, I can. I'm not being delicate. Alright. So I have tempted you do, little piggy. Do you think I will allow you to sabotage me again? I want my children, you unholy bastard! But your kids are dead. You're you're seeing their ghost. Cleansing fire always burns, little Mandus, but it purifies and it makes anew. Did it hurt to carve out the fevered flesh? Did it hurt to cut free the gangrenous foot? Ask instead this. Can we save them? When did I say that? That is not me. That is not me! Now, I'm very curious how he made this machine sentient. It is really dark and I can't see shit. I'm assuming I'm traveling in a direction. That's a pig mask. Okay, I'm like doing a weird acid trip moment. Okay, got it. Cool. That's a pig. 
That's a note. Oh, a love note. There's a spoon of medicine, I, it's, I says, and it's a silver spoon. What you did get born uh, born holding, ever so painful for mommy dear. But grasped so hard it was in a little screaming red fist. Later you used your spoon to dig a hole in the garden to get all the way to Mexico. And then you, um, you did eat worms with your spoon on the way to stay fat. The spoon was the same you gave your twins. Then you used it to dig a hole to their clockwork souls. And you ate up their hearts like soup on the way to keep you fat. Fat little mole where you will dig next, I asks you. you. And your little silver spoon made from the silver spine of your children. Wrapped in the hair of your dearly departed. Dear sweet Jesus. My, li uh, my darling Lib uh, Lilibeth. What am I become? If you've got a comment on, uh, like, how I read those, let me know. I like feedback on that stuff. Hell, I like generally feedback. As long as it's not just the generic, you suck. Nope, can't go that way. Oh, let me try. Hang on. Let me see what it does. Yep, it's a hard wall. Okay, so i got to find a way to reduce that steam pressure. Which will probably just be me, me pulling more fuses than uh, flipping a switch. Oh, my kitty cat's doing things. Okay, probably the same thing for right there. I gotta, I can't walk through that. Oh, he found a piece of plastic he's having fun with. Now, for the record, he doesn't try to eat plastic. He's not, he's not one of those cats. He, um, he just plays with it. He attacks it. It makes noise, and therefore it must be attacked. What are you? So pseudo cons confirmed that my character is the one who broke the machine the first time because once again I keep assuming it I'm talking to the machine. It said I will not let you sabotage me again. Okay, so I can't go through there yet. Either because it's still breaking or I need to find another another pipe to break. And there was a pig down here, so I have to be careful. Has everything finished breaking yet? Nope, still breaking. Oh, here's a wooden door I can open. Or not. Seems really out of place to have that, like, wooden wooden door when everything else here is, like, really, really, really metal. Oh, here's a pipe. So, so far, the only thing that makes sense to me about why the pigs exist was to help run this machine. Did I need to take those pipes and put them in there? Let me go get them then. So the creatures that he was creating, it feels like their only purpose had been to like, help manage and control this machine. I, is it that heavy? Oh, no, there it goes. I just wasn't clicking on it right because of the vibration. But a machine this vast, with this kind of, I'm going to phrase it, archaic technology, because we're running off steam, um... Okay, so that's not what I gotta do. Then what was the point of me getting here? Hang on. What am I holding? Okay, so not that. Let me go check the other pipe. Let me go grab the other pipe to see if that does it. I'm more or less just guessing at what I'm doing. I have no effing clue. I'm pretty sure the journal gives you good hints. 
But thankfully this game has been roughly so linear that it hasn't been an issue. Like with the other one, you would go to an area, branch off into five different areas, figure it out, then come back. And then you had to have figure out the right combination of this one. It's pretty much the area has a puzzle. Figure out the puzzle. Go to the next area. All right, so that's a no. Oh, I just had to break that. So me knocking on it broke it. Oh, there's a pig behind me probably. There's a pig. He doesn't seem too happy with me right now. I'm gonna hope they can't climb. Ow. So I do I need to be not standing in here. Okay, so I went the wrong way, that's all. So a little about a little I'm just gonna jump down. Whee! Whee! Am I just supposed to be running ahead of the uh, pressure escaping? I'm guessing because I'm taking a lot of hits. Anyway, there's a desk behind my. Uh, there's a table behind my desk. Low pressure pig line access open. Okay. Save them. It begins. My work has begun. Kill them, my piggies. Kill them all. My cat was sitting on it, and I could see it right behind, right between my two monitors, and he was just sitting there staring at me, being adorable. Anything to save them. Burn away. Burn away the remnants. The parts that will not process. The waste. The awful of your worlds. The grit. The steam. And stick wheels to the temple floor. He's still thinking of like the machine as a religious thing. A god. Which fits. I'm gonna try and see if I can. You know what? No, I'm gonna keep going. Something's blowing up, and the pigs are going crazy. Am I back up on the streets? Looks like it. Oh God! No! What have I done? The pig monsters I created are now on a rampage throughout the city. Uh, I'm going to guess the machine, because I'm still assuming that's what, what's talking to me this whole time, is the one commanding them. Why it... Well, your character did describe as trying to give it them a god, and the machine... <laughs> Burner Street. Why that was funny is because everything's burning.
Well, she died. Uh, whoever that is, they died too. I don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing. I'm just kind of running around. And I keep seeing all these people dying. Can't go behind. Oh, here's something. But I was just at the machine. Why can't I do something about sabotaging it? Why did I have to leave? There's a pig down here with me. I'm assuming I can go through this. Yes. Am I back down in the machine area again? <clears throat> Not to mention, I sabotaged all the steam, so how is the uh, giant machine still working then? I imagine with the machine being that big and it complicated. Not really. I don't I don't think at least. Like we, we don't know what Magnus was doing. He sees me. Well, since I'm already busted and running, I might as well have this up. And he can run as fast as me. That's one hit. Did I escape? Or am I dead? Okay, I don't think I could have avoided him. Well, I guess we gotta go save London. Creature! Where are my children? Where are my children? <sighs> I'm still saying his kids are dead. Like, we saw their ghost, we saw them do the whole pull out their heart thing. Does that mean he used part of his children to build the machine? Did he, like, use part of them? I don't know. Farming the world. I, let, let us not be coy. I will not let us drag this corpse of civilization into a new century. Come New Year's Eve, I will fling the last switches and unshackle the full power of the machine. <clears throat> oh, what does the machine do? Like, they actually have yet to say what the machine is supposed to do. We do know that there's something to do with an orb. Because the stone egg just feels like it's talking about an orc. And I'm very curious as to why there's no shadow monster coming. I'm glad there's not. I don't want to deal with that. Anyway, we'll deal with that in the next one. Thanks for watching. This has been Jack with the Geek's Perspective. Please like, subscribe, and share. And please, you know, hit up my social media stuff down below. But most importantly, please take care of yourself, alright?